Examined under a microscope, every living organism is made up of billions of cells. Sometimes, within those, you will find bacteria living. This bacteria is called Wolbachia, and what makes it interesting is the close relationship it shares with its hosts and the many different strains found around the world. After years of research, scientists have found a way to use Wolbachia as a control method for the deadliest animal on Earth, the mosquito. It is estimated that Wolbachia infects the cells of nearly 70% of the world's insects. Each species is infected with a different variation or strain. The success of Wolbachia is due to its ability to manipulate the reproductive process of its hosts. It has evolved a number of ways to ensure that it gets passed along from one generation to the next. However, there is a method that can prevent Wolbachia from being passed along. This is called cytoplasmic incompatibility. This is just a fancy way to describe a fairly simple process. It works like this. If one insect is infected with a particular strain of Wolbachia and mates with another insect infected with the same strain, their offspring will also be infected. But if one insect infected with a particular strain of Wolbachia mates with another insect infected with a different strain, then the eggs they produce will not be viable and result in no offspring. The University of Kentucky has closely studied this process in populations of the invasive mosquito, Aedes albopictus, also known as the Asian tiger mosquito, and it can now be used to reduce their populations in places where they do not belong. This discovery could not have come at a better time. Increased international trade and travel has allowed for an unprecedented distribution of invasive species worldwide, hitching rides in all forms of transportation. Invasive species are finding their way into places where they don't belong. In Southern California, we are plagued with the three invasive mosquito species that are vastly different from our local mosquitoes. To show you what I mean, let's check in with a local park. It's midday on a sunny afternoon and the park should be busy with people enjoying the open air. However, over the last couple of years, the residents here have been affected by the invasive mosquito, known as the Asian tiger mosquito. They bite aggressively during the day and are capable of transmitting several diseases we have not yet been exposed to. Let's zoom in and see how we can use Wolbachia to help the situation. Asian tiger mosquitoes are naturally infected with a strain of Wolbachia unique to their species. From what you've already learned, you know that if the male and the female are each infected with a different strain, their offspring will not be viable. In the lab, researchers have developed a way to do just that. They use antibiotics to remove the bacteria from the male tiger mosquito and then reinfect him with a different strain that was acquired from our native mosquitoes. The lab can now rear an army of male mosquitoes. It's important to know that male mosquitoes don't bite. We are now going to take our lab-reared mosquitoes and let them go in the park. Then we can sit back and watch nature take its course. Since the male mosquitoes don't bite, they do not transmit disease and pose no threat to humans or pets. What they will do though is seek out wild female mosquitoes and mate with as many as they can before they die. They will all be gone in about a week or so. The females will then lay eggs that won't hatch and when they die, there won't be a generation to replace them. This will dramatically reduce the population of Asian tiger mosquitoes with no negative effects on the local ecosystem. Residents will have the opportunity to once again enjoy their outdoor spaces.